So we're still doing substitution, yeah? and in my previous video I said, well, substitution means substituting x for the number they're giving you. Yeah? So evaluate the following expressions. I've written down um, three uh, questions for x equals minus four. And especially with negatives, you have to be extra careful, okay? But it's nothing to worry about, really. So what's going on here? It's three times, and at first, let's work out those brackets. Two times x, so two times minus four, yeah, two times minus four plus one. And just do it step by step, then it's almost impossible to make a mistake. Two times minus four, that would be minus eight uh, plus one, okay? And that would be three times minus eight plus one is minus seven, and three times minus seven is minus 21. So that will be the answer to the first question. Okay, now question B, Many, 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 many students make mistakes with that. Why? Because they use a calculator for it, rather their brain, okay? So look at what is going on. X squared plus seven. So if I'm substituting, I'm putting minus four in for X, but because I have to square it, make sure you put some brackets around it, squared plus seven. Because minus four squared, eh? minus four times minus four is actually 16. Who needs a calculator for that plus seven? So my answer will be 23. Now the mistake some of you unfortunately make, let me just write it down, if they do this one, in their calculator, they'll say minus four squared plus seven. And then your calculator is going to tell you the answer is minus nine. But that is wrong, eh? because I just showed you, you should get 23 as an answer. Because what do you tell your calculator here? You tell your calculator to do four squared, which is 16, with a minus sign in front of it. So minus 16 plus seven indeed is minus nine. Okay, very quickly to the last question. Um, so please make sure you put some brackets there. The last question is gonna be minus two times minus four plus 11, well a negative times a negative will be a positive 8 plus 11, my answer is 19. Okay, let's go to the next video where we're going to substitute for two or perhaps even three variables and see if you can do that too. I'll see you there.